All right, so it'll be Saracino, taller of the two, black tights. Again, Sean Brady, the upstart, 5-0, 24-year-old out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Red trunks, they'll touch him up. Waterway title on the line. Keith Peterson, referee in charge of the chaos in the cage. Rich Canoon is alongside Brian Palico. Do not blink, don't get up. Hook there landed. Tanner, great interview. It's great personality. Nice Side leg kick by Brady. See okay. if Tanner tries to use his height to his advantage. Good takedown early on. I can already tell you, Brady looks a, a pinch more precise. Slater for four fives already starting to rain down. Some hammer fist. I'm not sure Tanner's. Oh, yeoman-like work already early on. He's got his hooks in. Are good. you kidding me? He's got this his hooks not, in early on. This is not good. He's got his hooks in early on. He's not like a great job by Tanner. Great job. That could have been ugly right there. Not a traditional defense either. That is not the traditional defense, but it worked for him. So. And again, Slater for four fives. Potential for that one-minute round. And we'll also kind of keep an eye out for with some of these takedowns, palms touching the mat, the canvas. We'll talk, hopefully we get an opportunity to highlight that as well. Something yeah. a little different. Really got kind of sweeping the whole uh, MMA path, if you will. There's that hook again. He kind of does a short hooker where he does the jab and then turns into hook. Good catch and, by hey, Tanner. There's a little takedown there. Now a little reversal exactly. Presses up Brady against the cage. And this is exactly where it could happen. Right here, Rich. If, he, if that hand goes down on the mat, you're not allowed to knee the head or the or any anything, but if that knee hand comes up, you can knee. Something that bears worth watching. Nice so, knee there, Tanner. Another knee by Brady. They'll exchange knees. Crowd trying to will on Brady early on in this one. Well, I like what I see out of Tanner. I thought he was done early, you know, kind of folded, but he really is fighting back well. So. Well, he feels people mistake his ambition for arrogance. He's got a ton of desire. He's a hard worker, and he's looking to really, I don't want to say pull up the upset. He is 4-1. Oh, 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 I think that was oh, an inadvertent oh. poke again, though. I don't know. I don't know, Brian. He really grabbed his eye quickly. He's not indicating eye poke. And, that, and normally they would be pointing at that, I would think. I, we got to take a look at that. But I think I, he I, just got caught. Been, yeah, that hook. Brady's going to take advantage of it. Brady's try to got get his hooks in again. Lunch boxes there. Yeah, he, he does. He, I'll tell you what. And he's yeoman-like effort, bringing his Lunch, we talked about it. That's been the theme of the night in South Philly. Blue collar workers, you got to come and bring it. Well, Tanner's kind of gotten out of some positions here, but you know Brady's just having his way. Kind of fitting for Brady. Works as an auto mechanic during his days back in Swenson Arts Technology High School. After taking up some classes, he decided, you know what? Eh, working on cars isn't for me. I want to be a fighter. Well, he's certainly got the, the skill set and the team to do that. Tanner's doing well surviving, but he's he hasn't really done any damage yet, so he's gonna have to. I think that's the right word, surviving. You see the poison collectiveness. He's the looking to set up a choke. Oh, Brady. Choke here. He's set up oh, a he's choke. got him in trouble. Oh, I think Tanner actually got himself in more trouble with that, Brian. And Tanner got hip to it. What Brady does is he sets up a guillotine by leaning in there. He actually baits his opponent in. He's slipping that glove through. Now he steps over to Mount. He can finish it from here. Great shot he, by the crew. Peterson watching there. it closely. Oh, right there, there it is. Oh, my you. goodness. Oh. Sean Brady, are you kidding me? Mercy. The self-proclaimed mama's boy grew up tonight. Quick work right there. Saw that choke coming all the way, man. What outstanding job. I mean, where does he go from here? He, ring, ring, ring. Hello, pick up. Could UFC a, anyone? Could be an interesting <laughs> week. I mean, you never know. Maybe a few more, but nonetheless, that is a fight that a lot of people were talking about, and uh, Brady made quick work of it. Just nasty. Powerful. Powerful. That clenches that neck like no one else. So, Really nice job there by Sean Brady. You talk about sometimes the will of a fighter against the skill of a fighter. This kid's extremely well-rounded. Absolutely yeah, he's, he's well-rounded. He's Explosive. got the heart, the training, the determination. And you know what? I don't believe there's going to be any issue with that reach. Uh, look at the crowd. The Brady Bunch, if you want to deem them or dub them. Oh. They're all over the place. You know, it's interesting enough, self-proclaimed mama's boy, as I alluded to, girlfriend, friends, always give him support. His mom always cries. You know what, Miss Brady, if you're out there watching us, you're in the stands right now, tears of joy. Last fight spinning back this knockout. Oh, so that, that's, that's showing you that he can do it all. So, unbelievable. You know, really wow. nice. Unbelievable. We take a look at 
Quick action, a great finish as Brady will claim the CFFC welterweight title. What did you see here, Brian? And there's that choke where he's there. locking that up under the neck. He's actually trying to finish him by pushing down right there by creating cross energy. But he's baiting him in. And look, that's he can't even take it. He was going to maybe roll to his back. That is just a straight guillotine from Mount. Winner by tap out by way of the guillotine. And the new... Welterweight champion of the world. Out of the red corner from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Sean Brady.